Oh yeah, I thought maybe the light might be better. I'm just going to put the light on. Um, I'm just in the caravan to uh, just get dressed um, and um, just sort of just quickly catch up because I've got a minute just to um, do a quick video. Um, uh, I last weighed in at, on Monday, so today's Wednesday, and I weighed in at 10 stone 7.5. Uh, the previous time to that was 10 stone 8, so I have I did lose half a pound last time I went to weigh in, which was, it was really good movement in the right direction. Um, I'm only a pound and a half out of my target, but um, it's just, it's it's being out of it that's not comfortable and staying out of it is not comfortable so um, I weighed myself just this morning on the scales and I'm 10 stone 6 so I feel like it gives me a bit of motivation to um, keep my resolve to um, because one of the things I'm, I'm, I've decided I have to do is not be a people pleaser not um, not do things because I think it might upset people and it's really hard um, like it doesn't sound very much does it but I mean I think every, all of us know how hard it can actually be to um, you know because it, it's not just as simple some, sometimes it's not simple as somebody offers you a piece of cake and you say no thank you and then they say that's fine lovely okay sometimes life gets very complicated and um, People often associate love with food, don't they? So sometimes if you don't accept the food, then you're not showing the love to them. And that's really hard. Um, so um, I think I've got about a handle on it. It's, it's hard in our situation that we are. Not not really hard, but it's, com should we say it's complicated. And so it's taking a bit of adjusting to. Um, we're looking to see if we can rent somewhere. Possibly, um, but obviously that's about um, bringing our um, uh, you know, building up a bit of um, money and deposit form to kind of go back into renting again, um, and I think that'll take a little while. Um, it's hard because um, it's trying to make sure I keep the plan um, and. The th trying to avoid um, trigger situations. I was looking back at my journals which I often do like um, the Slim and Well journals and all those types of things and I realised just how lucky I am in this situation that I don't have to um, deal with the um, like looking after the children all by myself anymore and I'm really lucky because it was really hard for me then and I, you know, reading back through um, and also I was looking because my uh, Google uh, Google uh, account thing had filled up so I wasn't accepting any more emails so I had to delete some photos and my um, my phone had been merrily uploading all the videos I'd been doing and saving them on Google Photos and so it was using up all the space and I was deleting them all because I don't need them on there do I because I've got my YouTube if I want to look back at them and um, I just realised how incredibly tired I was all the time. <laughs> you know, each time I looked, I was just so exhausted. And I, I recognised that I pushed myself, which I still do, you know, I'm pushing myself all the time because that's what, you know. But now I can put the effort into pushing into the business, which gives a lot more reward. Um, I'm grateful for what I did uh, with my children when they were little because... Uh, I now have a good relationship with them now, so I, I know it's a good thing that I did what I did. But I just, I, yeah, I do. I, I well, I, I feel a bit. I wouldn't say sorry for myself for the past, but I do. I feel I, I am, I am grateful for the future me that worked hard, like you know the the person I am now. I'm grateful that I went through the process to work hard at trying to change my situation, because hard <laughs> so um, I think um, 
I'm also grateful because I um, all those skills I learned along the way to make sure I was eating healthily have stayed now so my batch cooks that I do that even if it gets a bit awkward at times we can we can take advantage of one day when it's not so awkward and make a giant batch and then that allows us then to have food for the next kind of six to eight meals type thing um, and then we can do a chilli batch and a curry batch and I can, we can kind of muddle through on the other ones that at least means we've got lunches and dinners sorted um, and it's not the most exciting food but it is at least something that we enjoy eating and it's something that you can add some bits and pieces to so you can add some rice or you can add some pasta or you can add some fruit or like some salad or and then it's not you know it's still it's still nice and edible and interesting you don't feel so tempted to add all the extras to it so it's a useful useful thing uh, I've been doing a lot of skier yogurts in the mornings um, from Lidl's um, I think they're one and a half sins uh, yogurt but I think that's quite I've been doing quite a lot of trying to do that where I um, do kind of low sin free foods if you know what I mean you know where it's kind of like mostly free food and a bit of sins in it um, if I have to obviously if it's free food then that's that's preferable and doing lots of nectarines because it's cheap at the moment at Lidl's um, having nectarines because they're, they're £1.50 around that price for a pack of four so I end up eating them a lot um, we're coming to the end of the summer holidays so we've got one more week and we've been doing very well looking after the kids at the same time they've been um, up upstairs in the shop they've been watching their tellies and having a mess about and um, we've been uh, we, you know they come down every now and again and have a hug and we have a chat and they, they're so they've been all right they're doing all right it's been okay this time around and obviously helpful because me and my partner are there at the shop and also looking after the kids so that alleviates the pressure on either of us which is yeah I'm very grateful for so although we're a bit like pickly in this situation where we're living in a caravan and driveway of my partner's mum's land and it's all a bit awkward sometimes um at least the work life is going really well the uh, shop's doing really well my partner's doing more um getting opportunities to play his music out and about and, and doing his paid gigs and that works really well so it's it's going it's going better but i think that's always the case in life isn't it that some things working sometimes work well better than others and um and i am a i'm in my bmi and i'm not overweight which is another thing that's really you know because all of this would be really 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 a lot harder <laughs> if i was also overweight and also um depressed because i wasn't eating very well so um yeah it's a, it's a good it's a good position to be in uh, all right, I'll pause here, so I should need to go and get myself dressed, ready for the day, if I had my shower and that, but I just need to go and get dressed, and then we'll go off to work. All right then, see you later, see you next time, bye!